Hello everybody. It is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. At just past 6 p.m. It's actually 6.04 right now. And it is time for prayer list prayers. Alexa, cancel. After this, I'm going to start some dinner. I took out um, two chicken breasts, and uh, they've been thawing for a few hours. So I'm going to do that tonight with uh, some vegetables and maybe some um, roasted potatoes. I don't, really, I don't know if I'm going to do potatoes or not. We'll see. Probably. Um, I may boil them, though, and make country potatoes to have with the chicken, just because It'll take longer in the, uh, the potatoes will take longer in the oven than the chicken, and I don't want to have to start ahead of time and then add the chicken in, so that may be a, a better way to do it. And then I'll have vegetables and a salad and fruit, kind of like a full dinner like I usually have when I have um, fruits and veggies, fresh fruits and veggies available. So that's the plan for tonight. I feel kind of tired, like, you know, a little bit tired though too, but I think I've that's what I'm going to do. Barring that, I'm definitely going to do the chicken. And um, the only thing I may skip is the potatoes. We'll see. We pray for our leaders in government, our President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, and for all members of, of the United States Congress. We pray for our governor, Gavin Newsom, here in California. Um, in San Mateo County, we pray for all police, fire, and emergency personnel, as well as the Human Services Agency, and the Department of Housing, and for all county workers. In South San Francisco, we pray for our mayor, Mark Diego, and the South, all members of the South San Francisco City Council. In San Francisco, we pray for Mayor London Breed and all members of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. We pray for all of those suffering through homelessness at the present time. Pray for all victims of COVID-19 and COVID-19 long hauler syndrome. We pray for abode services and life moves, both of which help homeless people get into housing. And I wouldn't be, of course, sitting here without their good work. I appreciate that always and uh, never tired of saying so. And we pray for clergy suffering with addiction and chemical dependency. We pray for all ministries inside and outside of the church for all clergy and religious and lay-led lay ministries alike, and their lay leaders, of course, right? Uh, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Pope Benedict, Bishop Mark Hambly Andrus, Archbishop Salvatore Cordelione, <coughs> excuse me, St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Hospitality House in San Bruno, Sea Episcopal Church in South San Francisco and San Bruno, the Diocese of California, the Archdiocese of San Francisco, Reverend Patrick Driscoll, Reverend, oh, excuse me, St. Veronica's Catholic Church in South San Francisco, the Reverend Deborah Hawkins, Bishop Louis Jeleno, St. Bruno's Catholic Church in San Bruno, excuse me, and the Reverend David Grant Smith, the new vicar of Sea Episcopal Church.
I pray for all members of my family, my father Alex and my mother Cheryl, Kara Masick, Erwin Rossmeyer, Joshua, Jesse, Ben, and Max, Mark, Jesse, and Diane Darling, Baba Taviana, Anna and Theata Crumbie, and Jocelyn Gerard. Excuse me. And I pray for all members of my family, or I'm sorry, for all members of my extended human family. As well, as named here, uh, Junior Irwin, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosnes, Keegan Forbes, Michael Nold, Coulter and Rhiannon, Richard Simmons, Jim White, Andrew Marmelstein, Dave Maloney, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder, Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetich, Aaron Rogers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Berry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Alstomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Lou and Gina, Peter Steeler, Daniel Hudson, Clifton Barrett, Roll and Barbara Laborde, Mike Smith, Margie Burke and her family, Kyle Andrew Schofield, Laura and Lydia, Jason Hayes, Jack and Ramit, Gino, Charles Ratcliffe, Chris Reinhardt, Dustin Keast, Norma Liebke, Matthew Russian, Tyler Davis, Daniel Fonseca, Michael and Corey, Ryan, Dean Barchetto, Pat Ford, Tina, Keith, Alexander, Matthew Mustashkin, Kevin Johansson, the Republicano family, Tyler Jordan Lowe, Tyler Smith, Charles and Kim Plyler and their family, Anita, David, Michael and his mother, Al, Cheeseburger, Kenny, Kendrick Rojas, Dylan, Charlene Myers, Jeffrey Marmelstein, Steve Buiza, the Pacific Family Medicine Clinic staff, Beth Lewis, Ken McCune, Bob and Mary Katz, Jen and Jesse, Steve Manini, Larry Lawton, Gabby Giffords, Jeff Henkel, Mark Zuckerberg and his family, John, Bill O'Reilly, Christopher Henning, Scott Akers, Debbie, George Jetson, Lil Kim, Gustavo Caldas, John Shuck, Greg Flowers, Rick Rivero, Andy Han, and Stephen and Bernadette Connolly. You know, I've mentioned this in another video, but um, I'll mention it again here now, is the reason um, during prayer list prayers that we read people's names aloud, but don't offer um, any additional prayers out loud, um, is because, well, number one, because the, as the list continues to grow, it's just going to get longer and longer and stuff like that. But there is also the fact that, you know, we don't always know what to pray for, for them. And even if we did, we don't always know that, that you know, well, we don't know that by, by, we don't know what God wants necessarily. You know, and sometimes it doesn't matter, for example, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it may not always be clear. Let's just leave it at that. Um, in the case of a few people on here, actually, wait, no, no, no. Yes, the vast majority of people on here have not asked me to pray for them. Um, so, I don't, you know, I don't know specifically what they would ask. I, I can add my own intentions, and that's fine, too. But there is also, if I did this for every single name, it, we would be here quite a long time. And the fact is, is that God knows already what people need and what they want. And the point of praying for people, right, is to keep them in mind that we're thinking of them and caring about them in an active way. 
And that is done when we mention their names automatically, pretty much. Now, of course, you can always feel free to, you know, if you want to speak further on someone, you know, about a particular person, you know, which, uh, I'm trying to think if I've done that. I've heard those prayers before. I've heard those prayers video. I may have. But, you know, in any case, I could, we could do that. If I was moved to do that, if the Lord moved me to do that, I would. Um, but, too, we can let it suffice with the naming aloud of the names, or calling aloud of the names. Because, also, too, keep in mind that the Latin word for pray, or prayer, is ora. Or to pray, like the command is orate. Um, and it means literally just saying loud. That's the intent. So there we go. I'm very, very tired right now. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it at that. I should probably go on normally. Um, now, last but not least, We pray for those that have passed on from this life inside and outside the faith and fear of the Lord. Especially the holy souls in purgatory and the church triumphant. And the repose of the souls, and for the repose of the souls of Howard Connolly, Christine Baker, the Reverend and Mrs. Fred and Cheryl Merrick, Nick Lee, Mickey McGee, Keith Lloyd. James, Dustin Rasmussen, <coughs> John Judicki, Anita Rossmeyer, Phil DiMartino, Father Benedict Reed, Winfred Marianne Johnson, Demetrius Fleming Davis, John Gotti, my grandparents on both sides, Jay Darling, Tyler White, Ron Popeil, Priscilla, Edison, Sean Bowman, Bob Dole, Betty White, Bob Saget, and Harry Reed. O oh Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people and the multitude of your mercies. Look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O oh lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to probably, I think I'm going to take a little nap before I start dinner. So I'm going to go do that right now. I continue to ask for your prayers as I'm working through this COVID stuff. It is slowly getting better in certain ways, but I still have the brain fog thing going on. Um, but I don't know, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on with it. But I have the appointment coming up in July, July 1st, which is a really long time, but that's the soonest they had. And hopefully, if there's, maybe if there's a cancellation, they'll call me back and get in there sooner. But one thing I need to do in order to be able to, to you know, be ready for that is to finish um, filing some paperwork with them. They, they uh, posted to my online account stand for help. I've got to, you know, fill it out, get it back to them, file it with them. So it's on, or so it's, you know, so I'm trying to say, so it's on file with them. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so that's one of the things I got to take care of. And with that, I'm just going to remind you, as I always do at the close of the video, good advice for myself and for you to brush your teeth, to floss especially, floss and floss, 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 and to say your prayers. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.